This training video will walk you through how to post alien evidence for a household member who is a permanent resident. Um, I'm starting on this screen, which is the household member detail screen. Um, I already put in this customer's social security number. They have a social security number um, that was issued for work authorization, uh, but they um, have a permanent resident card. And so um, all I did was put in their social they were known to EREP and I created the case uh, with the new case number. So now I'm here on the house member detail screen and um, I'm gonna put in the marital status. And then you'll notice here that the citizenship status is not auto populated because they're not a US citizen. And so what you wanna do is put not a US citizen and leave the citizenship verification pending for now. And then you'll come down here, put in your dates the date of change is the date of application, which is today, and then also the date reported is today as well. So, and then click save. And then um, just to kind of get through the process, I'm not gonna register any of the other household members. I'm just gonna go straight to, and I'm also gonna skip putting in the rest of these verifications in just so I can get to the point where I show you what you need to do. Um, so at this point, you know that they're a permanent, permanent resident, and so um, you'll want to request their um, permanent resident card so that you can get the alien number, and this is why. Um, when you do the e-verif search, you'll need the alien verification number to get the information that you need to put into the alien evidence screen. So let me show you how to do that. We'll come back to the case home. So I was just on, I just barely did the household member information. Um, and then typically on a case, you would want to do household relationship, relationship if there's more than one person, living arrangement, a Utah residency. I'm going to skip that for now just so I can show you what you need to do. Um, you need to create the program. You have to have a program attached to the case. So I'm just going to create heat real quick. <clears throat> Okay, so the HEAT program has been created. It's attached to the case now. Um, and the reason we want to create the HEAT program is so that when you go to eVerifs and check eVerifs, the new program, the auto search for the new program will be there. Um, and so for this particular case, um, I do have a permanent resident uh, card on file. And so what you'll want to do is click on new program. And then you'll see an alien verification search option here. Um, it should pop up anytime um, like someone's social bounces against the social uh, security interface. It'll let them, it'll let you know through this, uh, through the e-verifs whether this person um, social is for work purposes only, like it, it can tell. And so the alien search will pop over. And so what you want to do with the alien search is you click on it. And then um, this search bar will show up and you actually need their alien number to put in here. That's why you actually, you need to request the, the permanent resident um, card or if they know their alien number, they can just tell you what the alien number is. Um, because it'll, this, this uh, field will verify it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the, ver the alien number and show you what it pulls over. All right, so <clears throat> this is my customer. Um, I can tell by the name and the birth date. And so this information is what you'll want to have um, so that you can fill out the alien evidence screen. So I'm going to go back to the home screen, go to the evidence screen um, on the alien evidence. I want to click on alien, add new alien, and then click on household member. Anyone who is not auto, anyone who's created um, as a household member, if they are not uh, verified as a US citizen through the system, then their name will populate under the household member here. So just a reminder that um, alien evidence is only for permanent residents. If they're an undocumented, you do not need to fill out this screen.
All you need to do is leave the social security blank and the system will take care of the rest. Um, but in order for a permanent resident to be counted on the household and as an eligible member of the household, you would need to do the alien evidence in order for them to count. So this is the process. Um, all right, so I wanna go back to all the, this information that I gathered here. Um, so the alien number, I'm gonna copy. And then also, um, it'll tell you here the alien status code is IR6 family based sponsored aliens. And so that would go in here into the alien group. So there's a couple things you can do. You can either do the drop down and like try to find the IR6, or you can just type it in. And there it is. Um, you'll also want uh, the save verification number for the section below. So you can copy that. So this section here under save details, um, you'll want to click on save verification completed. And then on this side over here, save verification number. I'm just copying and pasting from, from this piece right here. Um, you'll also want to note the country of origin um, and you want to put that in here. Oh. Okay. Um, and then also this date here, the grant date, you'll want to take and put it into the date of lawful entry. So, and you can just manually put that in. And I believe that's all you need. Um, and then you put in your dates. Um, one thing I just remember, uh, the alien verification, you have to you have to put something in the alien verification. And since we're getting the verification electronically, that's what I'm gonna choose. <clears throat> and then click save. And that's all you need to do. Now the information, um, the alien information is added to the household and um, she should be counted on the household now. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and fill out the rest of the household information here. So we can check since I only have her um, alone as a, a single household, I'm not gonna have to, I, I don't have to do household relationship. I'm gonna do living arrangement. And then Utah residency. Um, and then I'm just going to check. So all of those things, the four mandatory categories, well, three for here, because I don't need household relationships since it's a single household. And then the alien information is in there. And then I also need the heat crisis evidence. I'm doing this a little out of order just because I wanted to show you how to do the alien evidence through e um, But I also want to show how she will count in the household. So let's create some evidence here. Let's do, oops, let's do a hundred percent on this one just so we can get through. So 
So if you wanted to save time, instead of applying changes later, you can just save and apply. Click on save and apply. And now you don't have to apply the changes for this one because it's already been done. Um, now, but we do want to apply changes for the rest of the evidence that we had. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, okay, let's see if it lets us, let's see if she's eligible. Okay, there it is. So she's an eligible member and it shows you how much the benefit assistance is. And that's how you do alien evidence. So just again, just a reminder, if you do know that they are um, a permanent resident, then when you're doing the household member information, you'll want to keep um, the citizenship verification pending until you have the verification. So now that I do have the verification, I want to change this to electronic verification. Um, otherwise, when I go to approve the benefits, it's going to say that I'm missing a verification. Um, so make sure that you fill this part in before you go to approve benefits. So <clears throat> now that I have the um, alien evidence in there and it's I have verified that she's not a US citizen, she's a permanent resident, come in and change that verification type, add the date verified, which is today. Click save, apply changes. Okay, so she should be okay now. Um, let's process benefits. Okay, now it's on hold, waiting for an editor. So that's how you would do um, alien evidence uh, for a permanent resident. Um, so again, you only need to do alien evidence for permanent residents, not for undocumented. They do not need alien evidence. You would just leave, leave their social security blank. So if you have any questions, reach out to me or my staff, but. Um, that's a simple walkthrough on how to do that.